Okay, guys, we are going to continue. Our next topic is graph of cosine function. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, firstly, let's let's look at the graph of the cosine function on the unit circle. As you see here, uh, we have the unit circle, and uh, you see, we said that uh, you know that cosine is from the triangle here, cosine is adjacent side of the angle over the hypotenuse. Cosine for this angle is adjacent side over the hypotenuse of the triangle. Uh, as hypotenuse is equal to 1, the value of the cosine for this angle is 0 0.45, the length of this line segment. Okay, okay guys, now look at here, as you uh, see, now this angle, cosine for this angle, as it's a unit circle, the hypotenuse is equal to 1. Cosine for this angle is just uh, the length of this line segment. And this line segment, the blue line segment, is equal to this blue line segment. Yeah, That means, uh, now, as we, increase, uh, as we increase this angle, this line segment is decreasing. The length of this line segment is also decreasing. Yeah, The length of these two line segments are equal. Uh, the length of this cos, uh, line segment gives us the value of cosine for this angle. As these two are, line segments are equal, that means we can say that the length of this line segment for this angle is the value of the cosine for this angle. Yeah? As we increase the angle, here as you see, these two line segments are changing in the same way. Yeah? That means the length of these two, uh, two blue line segments are always equal. Okay, guys. Then, then, uh, now, uh, when when the angle is equal to here, this angle is equal to zero, zero. The length length of blue line segment is equal to one. Here, it's also one. That means the length, uh, the value of the cosine is for the angle zero is equal to one. Now, if we increase the angle, if we increase the angle, the line segment, blue line segments are decreasing. That means the value of the cosine is decreasing. Yeah. When the angle is equal to 90 degree, we don't, we can't see the blue line because line segment, it's uh, the length is equal to zero. That means the cosine for the 90 degree is what zero. As we increase the angle, when the angle is bigger than 90 degree, this one, bigger than 90 degree, the value of the cosine is negative yeah because it's uh, increasing in negative direction opposite direction and uh, the value of the cosine is negative between 90 degree and 270 degree between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2 after the 3 pi over 2 when the angle is bigger than 270 degrees the value of the cosine is uh, is what positive again Okay, when uh, the angle is 2 pi, as you see here, 2 pi, the length of the blue line segment is 1. That means when angle is 2 pi, the uh, cosine is equal to 1. Okay, now if we here and check this one, we get the graph of cosine function. As you see here, till here, between 0 and 90 degree, the value of cosine is positive. Yeah, That means, and after that, it's negative. After that, it's negative. Till 200, uh, 3 pi over 2, the value of cosine in here is what? Negative. Between pi over 2 and uh, 3 pi over 2, the graph is below the x-axis. That means the co value of the cosine is negative. For the angle bigger than pi over 2 and less than th 3 pi over 2, the value of the cosine is negative. Yeah? After the 3 pi over 2, as you see here, this is rising, increasing in positive direction. That means cosine is positive. As you see here, it's also above the x-axis positive yeah as you see here we have 
we had the graph of cosine function. This one is graph of the cosine function. Okay. Okay. Now, this is the graph of the cosine function. Yeah. Uh, okay, guys. Now here uh, we draw this part as the cosine is periodic function. You know that after one complete angle, uh, after the two pi, the value of cosine is repeats. Yeah. For example, when the cosine is uh, for the angle zero, for the angle zero, cosine is equal to uh, one. For the angle two pi, cosine is equal to one. Yeah. Uh, after now two pi, after two pi, one rotation, the value of the cosine what repeats. Why? Because we know that cosine is periodic function. Okay. Okay, I think it's uh, understandable, yeah? It's easy. Now, that's all. Uh, the next topic will be the graph of tangent and cotangent function.